Hello, everyone. I am here today to talk to you about something that I think about fairly often, and those are different ways to be positive, because as you know, as a human being living in 2016, that life likes to throw curveballs at us when we're least expecting it. So number one on my list that I compiled is to accept who you are. And what I mean by that is, I'm sure you've heard it before, um, if you think about it, there's only one you on this whole planet in this one little time zone. You, you are here. And just think about the, the chances of that. What are the chances that you exist? So I know you've heard it before that you're unique, that we're all unique. And the truth is we are. So you should believe it. Of course, we're similar in plenty of ways, but there's only one you, only one you. Let that sink in. One you. Okay. So love yourself. I mean it. And... <laughs> It's, it's also okay, because we're human, to have both positive and negative thoughts. It happens to me, it happens to you, it happens to everybody. And the trick there is you should really work on at least giving yourself some time to think about your thoughts and your emotions. And what you can control is how you react or respond to them. So once you kind of learn that process, it kind of becomes more natural. It might be hard at first, but I'm not saying to suppress your emotions, but learning how to react in a more positive way will come naturally once you really think about them and cool off if it's something, you know, negative at first. So it always helps to think about them and to have some self-control. And when it comes to your personality, let's say, for example, you're an introvert who's trying to be an extrovert, you know, going out every weekend, partying, it's not really your thing, but it's cool that you gave it a shot. But even if every once in a while you do it, if it's not your thing to do every Friday, Saturday, and even Sunday, just be true to yourself. You know, don't do things that you know you're not into or that you know you're not comfortable with. Like I said, it's good to give things a try, but if it's not your thing and you know that, just be true to yourself, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. And you'll be happier that way. You'll be better off because in the end, you're the one who has to be stuck with those emotions and those feelings. Number two on my list is to take care of yourself. Use your body. Get moving. Go hiking. Do yoga. Pick up a new skill. Like, do a sport. I mean it. Like, being active just, it just helps so much in feeling positive endorphins people endorphins are good stuff also eat well and definitely dress well uh, i know these from experience that if you eat well you take care of yourself and you dress well and you look mighty sharp that you feel good because when you look good you feel good so that's an easy one um just make sure you look snazzy all the time and that'll give you a confidence boost 100 percent all the time my third one is to set goals for yourself, because when you set goals for yourself, it's just, it's something of self-improvement that you have to look forward to. And as you're reaching that goal, even when you're not there yet, you still feel that confidence boost because you're planning to get there and you know you're going to get there. And most people, when they think up goals, you know, they think their selves are here and they think the goals are all the way up here. But when you really stick to it, whoop, in no time you're there. And then you feel like you could go on to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. But the trick is there is to start slow and um, don't overwhelm yourself and to really stick to it. And I mean it, really stick to your goals and you'll be amazed at yourself because you're more magical than you thought, more magical than a unicorn. And it also helps to start small and be specific. It could even be something as little as smile at a stranger once a day. Just be careful, you know, use your judgment too there a little bit, but um, <laughs> you know what I mean. Another good example um, to spin things in a more positive light is to say, let's say, remind yourself to eat one serving of fruit a day compared to cut off all junk food forever. You know, like that sounds more positive. And don't be so harsh on yourself. Take your time and be true to yourself. And one step at a time, like I said, and just be positive and be confident. And the more you practice this, the more it becomes natural. And the last thing I have today is to do something for somebody else. Show compassion. That really does go a long way. Um, studies have proven this, and I have proven this to my own brain. Even something as small as holding the door open for someone or, you know, giving advice to someone, volunteering for a company or a nonprofit, that helps. You know, you feel self-fulfilled, but you're also doing it for someone else or something else. And that's a good feeling. 
Let the sparks fly. Be awesome. And that's what I have for now. I mean, there's plenty of other practices and ways to be more positive. Uh, it's all in here. And just be thankful for every single day and be thankful for your awesome self and be the best version of yourself no matter what you do because you can do it. And remember, there's only one you and you really should just love yourself to pieces because no one else is going to love you as much as you love you because no one else is ever going to be able to see through these eyes like you do. So thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know. Take care. Toodles. What do you what do you mean? I need 50 cents. Uh, that that's all I have. I don't have 50 cents. Does uh does anybody have 50 cents? I have a problem here. Amaze Balls always has 50 cents. Thank you.